So good afternoon to all. Hope you are doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about IDFC First Bank share. So we know that today the stock has given very good movement, and you can see almost six to seven percent positive movement is seen in the stock, and current market price is around fifty-four rupees level. So yesterday we know that a panic selling was created in the market, and majorly all the banking stocks have corrected. So clearly, I told that all these corrections are temporary. So yesterday also we have discussed five stocks. Basically, some are very good large cap stocks. stocks also so all of them have corrected including tata motors so that is obvious so never ever sell your holdings whenever any panic situation is created in the market just you need to find the opportunity and you need to average at the right levels so today we'll see what would be the next immediate targets of idfc first bank and also we'll see how the deliveries have been taken on a regular basis so we know that yesterday i have put an update in the telegram that i'm starting a separate channel for stock market get education so definitely if you are already subscribed to stock jerry so do subscribe that particular channel as well so that definitely you will be learning something new related to the stock market related to options and uh, rest of all which i have discussed in telegram so i'll provide a link in the description as well as in the comment section Okay, so first, let us start our discussion with how much deliverables have been taken in IDFC First Bank. So you can see almost five crore shares have been traded, and you can see almost one crore shares have been taken into deliveries. And you can see thirty point six eight is the delivery percentage. So today we know that earlier uh, when it has showed a gap down opening, and when it has gone to ten percent uh, down. So after that, we know that a particular gap was created between previous close as well as yesterday's close. So So definitely, the stock is now trying to fill that particular gap. That's why today we have seen a very good momentum, and even many stocks, especially in banking sector, they have started retracing. Okay, so if we see day-to-day -day wise deliveries, how they were being taken in IDFC First Bank. So you can see on April twelfth, obviously the traded quantity has increased, and you can see percentage wise, thirty-five percent have been taken, and the stock has corrected almost nine point four percent. So previously also it has come down a little bit. You can take roughly three uh, percent. So uh, total, you can say twelve to thirteen percent. The stock has corrected in just a span of. Two to three days. So after that, we know that I told clearly many people have messaged in Instagram that try to buy near fifty rupees level because that is a very strong pivot support from where the stock has started retracing. So when the QIP issue has also been released near the floor price of sixty, so many people had question what can be done. So clearly we discussed obviously a good uh, subscription and participants have appeared. Then definitely the stock also will show the same potential. so whatever the fall we have seen in the stocks is just because of the panic situation due to covid cases so same what happened earlier in the last year also we know basically the time cases were at peak so now cases are not that peak just they are moderate so increasing since they are increasing so that's why little panic situation has been created so don't worry about that just try to invest in good fundamentally strong stocks Okay, so let us start our discussion about the technicals of IDFC First Bank. So you can see currently it has closed near fifty-four rupees, and you can see it has showed almost seven percent positive movement. And you can see yesterday's fall itself signifies that it was a temporary fall because today. it has recovered almost 7% since it is a fundamentally strong stock so that's why it has recovered otherwise e either it would go further down or it would consolidate so we have not seen both of that you just we are seeing a rise why because potentially buyers are available at that particular levels so you can see a bullish type of candle has been formed with this particular week and you can see immediate next resistance is coming out to be near 56 rupees level so that is the next immediate level that you need to watch out so after 56 we have ultimately the 60 rupees level okay so these are the next two resistance that you need to keep in your eyes and coming to the supports as usual you need to watch for 50 rupees as the important support so that is not possible right now because market is in little bullish phase so either if you get a chance even if it corrects further so definitely take the opportunity and try to buy near the 50 rupees level and if you go a little bit down you can see moving averages are also coming closer that is 50 day exponential moving average is also approaching 
approaching 200 day so that is again a bullish indication okay so something um, we can say is happening for idfc first bank so whatever the corrections have been seen in the previous sessions are now being taken into bullish side so if you go and see money flow index also you can see that is near 61 roughly okay so that is also not completely in overbought region so it has come to mid range and it may retrace in the coming sessions depending upon the market situation okay so coming to the one day chart which is very important so in that you can see this was what i'm telling the gap down which has been created in one day chart so you can see how it has corrected okay so how it has corrected in the uh, that is yesterday so we are told that a gap has been created so now it is trying to fill that particular gap so you can see so currently the closing also is the bottom of the gap so can you see here this is the bottom of the gap so it is trying to fill the bottom of the gap so again maximum chances are it will try to approach near the 56 rupees level why because we have the 50 day exponential moving average at that particular level okay so these are the next two immediate resistances a good gap filling theory is being taking place so i'll discuss all these things in my second channel of stock market education so there we'll discuss each and everything so i learn something new definitely so do subscribe to that channel as well and definitely i'll start uploading videos as well so i'm currently working on that so when it completes i'll start releasing them okay so further if you're having any doubts you can message me in comment section and also in instagram so until then take care bye bye